Tonight at 10, we begin with a follow up to a story we first brought you last week. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith and I'm Craig O'Neill, the Pine Bluff superintendent meeting with high schoolers today, less than a week after students left class in protest. The students asking for more security and active response to violence in the city. After the meetings today, the students and now community members are still expressing concern. THV 11's Sarah Herbakowitz explains what's next. At last week's protest, Pine Bluff High School students asked for more support from their school as gun violence claimed the life of a classmate. The student that uh, passed away two weeks ago, all he did was walk off campus and got shot. And we feel like if there was more security, then that wouldn't have happened. This week, one of the protest organizers, 10th grader Claire Shepard, says they're still asking. And some kids, they go to school to escape from, you know, streets or their home. If they don't feel safe at school, then what's What's the point of, you know, going to school? The school superintendent addressed these issues in meetings with grades 9 through 12 on Monday, saying, quote, student council representatives and officers posed questions to me on behalf of their class based on a survey they gave their classmates. I committed to a future round of discussions, but Claire says it's not enough. If nothing is done today, then we're planning a three day sick out and that's when nobody comes to school. Pine Bluff High School students aren't the only ones concerned. Community members also held their own meeting Monday to ask for what they want changed. The whole community is experiencing frustration with the way, way that she's handling the district. Charlene Wright is a retired teacher and a Pine Bluff district stakeholder, discussing with dozens Monday some of the changes they want to see, specifically from Superintendent Warren. We're going to start our petition drive of no confidence. Uh, along with other avenues that we have. As both groups say, they're pushing for a safer community. Reporting in Pine Bluff, Sarah Horbakowitz, THV 11 News. Sarah, thanks so much. Superintendent Warren also told THV 11 that she did not know any details about tonight's community meeting and cameras were not allowed inside. But Warren says she is still open to recommendations from students about how to better support them.